How does Nidman perform in off element teams? Does their contribution as an off field DPS outweigh the buffs you get from someone like Sandwa? And how does this skill with their sequence nodes? To measure this, I've spent the last couple of days implementing Yinlin into my calculator. We'll slaughter in Sandwa's slot in a meta encore team and see how the total team DPS changes as we look at some graphs comparing a couple of different builds of Yinlin versus Sanhua. Let's introduce the builds. We'll have Yinlin on both a selfish DPS set of Void Thunder, as well as a supportive set Moonlit Clouds. Finally, we'll have Sanhua on Moonlit Clouds as our control. They will all be on standard 43311 sets, and between them and Encore, one of them will have a 5-star limited weapon, and one of them will have a 5-star standard weapon to keep it consistent. First, let's take a look to see the DPS difference in an opener rotation. In the opener, all characters have zero concerto energy, so there are no outros in play. Compared to Sanhua, Yinlin sequences affect the total team damage much more, with nearly a 50% increase between S0 and S6. As you might imagine, the Void Thunder set completely eclipses the Moonlit set, as it should, as the Moonlit set is contributing almost nothing in an opener rotation with no outros. However, if we go back to the start at S0, You'll notice the DPS with Sanhua as 0 is actually higher than Yinlin, despite no outros being in play. In fact, all Sanhua does is one skill and detonation in here for a measly amount of damage. That is to say that in an opener rotation, it is not worth it to do Yinlin's entire setup, as she takes quite a bit of time to fill up her forte meter without having her intro available. Next, we'll look at a burst rotation. Here, one with clouds on Yinlin is closer to Void Thunder, but falls off the more sequences you unlock. Though, remember that this can vary depending on your gear. If your Yinlin isn't fully geared, Moonlit Clouds may be more impactful at earlier sequences. Sanhua falls slightly short of Yinlin here, but is still fairly competitive. Something else important to note is that Sanhua, even at S6, has a much smaller raw damage contribution than Yinlin, as most of her contribution is in buffs. This means that the value of good gear means much less on Sanhua, so you can pour more resources into your main DPS, and have much less to lose than with Yinlin, which is especially relevant in the early game where we're all bleeding on Echo XP. In summary, for an off element team, Yinlin's off field damage, even when fully built and on her signature weapon, doesn't contribute much more than a support like Sanhua. At least, not until she gains 3 to 4 sequence nodes. However, I'm sure she's great with Calchero, but imagine playing a dude. 